Hello, Cheesy Bites. Welcome to the video. Today we're just going to talk about Shotcut some more and how I've been using it to sort of create the little video edits that I've been doing. This out of all the free video editing softwares I've found, this is the most user friendly. Sort of the best for just staying running, not crashing. And some of the features are really good. Still learning a lot about video edits in general. But I find this software has enabled me to learn it in a way that easy to understand just generally you have a lot of fun playing around with it you'd lose hours just editing videos as you look at the tile like what so yeah it's been fun let's get into it first this video it's just how to put a clip together you've made your intro you've made your outro and you've made your video that you'd like to put in between so earlier on I made a video on how to clone yourself using shortcut it's, it's a fun video and some of the effects that can be used and you can have a conversation with yourself it's good for like reviewing videos if you're reviewing something maybe or you just want to make some cool sort of looking videos check it out if you if it's something that you'd like to learn how to do so we'll just call this final edit so no what it is when I get there and change video mode this is just what the video looks like in the actual preview and start the video we need some timelines down here at the bottom of the timeline see it might be down here when you first load up I like to drag mine up just so I've got a bit more space at the bottom we have timelines we can right click add video track or we can click the three little bars and add a video track as well we'll use two for the an extra one to place things should you need to start with my gaming intro we'll drop that straight away on video one because we know we're going to start with the intro then we need something else the outro it's in this folder so we'll grab it we'll place it somewhere like there just on the top bar it's just like holding the storage while we find the other file we've got a shortcut how to clone open this up drag it down from the preview drop it in place as long as this magnet is selected it will just snap to the previous scene quite handy then we just want to take our outro just drag it to the end can zoom out a touch make it a bit easier oh, just drop it in there we'll undo that don't want that there again just drag it across to get to the end and zoom out a bit more but then the clips get smaller and they get harder to sort of navigate and pick just select in general it's hard it's a bit tricky when it's small then we'll just take it from there and just snap it on the end and just check it Turn in video I see it's two of me That's it, yeah, it worked nice. We'll just pause that. Now for exporting, we could remove this video track, I suppose. Now we've just got the one track, not that it really mattered. Now we'll go to export a couple of ways. You can click export at the top. There is a little tab down at the bottom. Might be, go to advanced settings. <coughs> you'll get this little screen pop up from here you can change the resolution the aspect ratio and the frames per second you can actually record it at this so this is what I'm going to render it in YouTube has a preset and a couple of presets down the side when to load to YouTube we just click this and that will sort of just change these presets ready but I think YouTube preset is currently 30 frames. But I think YouTube now accepts 60 frames. You could do your video at 60 frames and upload it. Still don't get around the AVEC coding and the DP9 coding, but that's for another video. <laughs> but yeah, just from there, guys, just click export. 
Turn yourself final edit, save. And over this side we have the job bar. Gives us a percentage and a time to left for the video to render. And then there you have it guys, ready to upload to YouTube. Easy cheesy. Guys, if you've enjoyed watching, maybe you've learned something, please hit that subscribe, maybe hit a like button. And always leave a comment below if you've got any tips, tricks, something you want to share, anything I'm missing or could do better, by all means, let me know. We're all learning here. Until then, guys, keep it cheesy, and we'll see you next time. Ta-da,